All right, guys, here we are with part three of our video game collection. Three, this is old school stuff, so we're going to be covering uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and um, what little we have of our Sega CD. And so this will be, here it is, right here, I know, I know what you're thinking. You're all looking at this like Brad Pitt at the end of seven. What's in the box? Frosty, what's in the box? Come on. What's in the box? That's what we keep our stuff in. That's what's in the box. Yeah, all of our stuff. Instruction manuals. User's guide for the Sega CD. And uh, we also have you know, a couple of instruction manuals and whatnot, but we also have books, Ultimate, Unauthorized Nintendo Game Strategies. Remember before the internet, when you actually you wanted to know how to beat Nintendo games, you had to go buy these books? How to win in Nintendo games. This was before Game Facts and the internet and everything. You had to go, look at you had to go and read the damn book. How do I beat the book? I don't know. How do I beat the game? You got to read the book. Read the book, beat the game. Not sure where we got these, but that's... You know, it's neat to have this this kind of stuff. These unauthorized strategy guides with all-time classic games. And they were just, and they, these weren't like your regular strategy guides. They, they were very. This one has screenshots, which is rare. But as you can see, these didn't have screenshots. These are just this is just text. So they had to describe where you were going. This is the precursor to the modern day strategy guide. That's what that is. All right, we'll start over here. I just knocked something over. With the Sega CD stuff, because we only have five. And these were all given to us for free. And we'll start with the one everybody likes. We'll start with the one that everybody likes. There we go. Sonic CD. Sega CD. I have that one. Uh, Echo of the Dolphin, of course. Fucking... Dolphin game. I hated Echo. I really did. Uh, Chuck Rock 2. Son of Chuck. Doink. Look at that. And uh, Tomcat Alley. Flight Sim. It's got an MA-13 rating. And then also... Sewer Shark. No idea what this is. So like I said, this this Sega CD stuff was given to us for free. A friend of my wife was having a yard sale. She was trying to get rid of a lot of this stuff, as you can see. See there's price tags on it, trying to get rid of that for $2. Then a lot of the stuff wasn't selling, and she didn't want it. So rather than throwing it away, she knew we were into video games, so she gave it to my wife. And that's how we wound up with a Sega CD, and why we only have such little little games, because this is all she had. And why we have why we have the instruction manuals and everything. So as I as I see more of these games, you know, I'll pick them up. I don't see a lot. I mean, yard sales and whatnot, flea markets. I don't I don't see a lot of this stuff anymore. And now that a lot of the traditional used game stores are going out of out of out of business, a lot of this stuff is hard to find locally. You got to go on eBay and Amazon, and I just refuse to do that. So, all right, moving on to the Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. What do we got? We have Mortal Kombat Two. MK2. And then we've got uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And Sonic 2. You notice these both say not for resale. So these must have came with the, with, the, with the system. Not for resale. You know, back when systems actually came packaged, shipped with games. Remember that? Remember when, when systems actually came with a launch game? So these must have been... Um, this must have been for like the first launch of the first Genesis and then probably a later launch of another Genesis. That's why they say not for resale on them. And then we've got, um, I don't know what this is. This is a boxing game. Yep, that's some weird boxing game that I've never played. There. 
And then we've got uh, Pac-Man 2. New Adventures of Pac-Man. With a revolutionary new character guidance interface. CGI. Pac-Man 2 is a game unlike anything you've ever experienced before. Look, it was marketed as an interactive cartoon. I love looking at this old stuff because just to see what was was around at the time. Caesar's Palace. Play gambling. We have uh, Eternal Champions, rated, which is rated MA13. This is a fighting game, so this must have been like their answer to Mortal Kombat. Nine Fighters, Eternal Champion, yada yada. Yeah, this must have been their answer to Mortal Kombat. Have that. We have Jurassic Park. Which is frightening in the dark. While the dinosaurs are running wild. We've got that one there. And then, finally, we've got uh, Konami's Tiny Toon Adventures. Buster's Hidden Treasure. Make a fortune playing a cartoon. See how they were marketed back then as interactive cartoons because the full motion videos and the cutscenes and everything were... And then I have this one. Blaster Master 2. From Sunsoft. I always loved the Blaster Master games. So that is the uh, Genesis. Now we're going to move on to what I have in Super Nintendo. Look, a super pad. A controller. So for boxed ones, we don't have too many boxed ones. But I have Super Castlevania 4. That's a really good game. You love the Castlevania stuff. This is really, really cool. And also picked up on a whim... Uh, Spawn, the video game. Actually, we actually bought this, I think, brand new. But it was like at a Toys R Us and it was like $5 when they were like clearing the stuff out. So, yeah. And then, the rest of the stuff is over here. It's the unboxed. It's the, the loose games. So we have uh, Super Punch-Out. Bassmasters Classic Pro Edition. It's a fishing game. Super Bomberman. Bomberman games are always fun. Uh, Legends of Zelda. Link to the Past. Everyone's... One, almost everyone's favorite game. It's usually between this and Ocarina of Time as to which is the best Zelda out there. I played the shit out of this game. I loved it. I have it on a bunch of other formats, other platforms. Classic game. This is your original. Original copy. Top Gear. This was a good for racing games. Gran Turismo had nothing on, on this stuff. I always loved the Top Gear line. Always fun. Breath of Fire. The first Breath of Fire game, which is an RPG. You may have seen that I had we had Breath of Fire 3 for the PlayStation. Here's the very first one. I think it, it might be kind of hard to get. I don't know. But we found it for $16.99. And picked it up. There's your first Breath of Fire game. Super Return of the Jedi. Super Metroid. I love this game too. Love the Metroid games. This one was uber hard, but it was fun. Super Metroid. And then a game that I know that is I know is hard to find for the Super Nintendo. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. We paid a we paid a little bit more. This was probably the Super Nintendo game we paid the most for. Because I know this is hard to find. This one is rare and hard to find. So you're going to pay like, we, I don't know, maybe we pay $20, $30 for it. I can't even remember. But I know it's, 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 it's rare. 
Used to be anyway. I don't know if it still is, but we own a copy of it. All right. And then moving on to the last bit, the Nintendo games. And then we have a few in the box. Starting with Legend of Zelda. Still in the packaging. With all the swag that it came with. Maps and strategic playing tips. So there's your Zelda. Wonder how much that's worth. Romance of the Three King Romance of the King Three Kingdoms 2. Also in the packaging. I hated these games, man. These were these were like tactic games. And I never played these. I hated this kind of stuff. Picked this up at a yard sale somewhere. And it's good to own, but this is this is something I will never play. Because these kind of strategy games aren't my cup of tea. A game I did play a lot, however, was this one. Shadowgate. This was a pick-your-own-adventure type game. It's cool to have this in the packaging. I actually owned this game, so this isn't my original copy. But it's cool. I did play a lot of it. And uh, Pinball Quest. World's first pinball fantasy. So that's... That's everything for the box games. Now we move on to the unboxed games. Let's start up here. We have a copy of Clax from Tengen. A lot of this Tengen stuff, they were sort of like bootlegs, knockoffs. Because you'll notice that the Tengen cartridges are just different shape than the Nintendo cartridges. I mean, I know it says quality seal. But, it's, but see how it says for play? On the Nintendo Entertainment System, a lot of these Tengen cartridges were bootlegs. They were they weren't officially authorized by Nintendo. Hence the funny. I've got a bunch of these. I'll show you another one that's not in there. Here's another Tengen one. R RBI Baseball. See how they're different shape and they're funky. These are for use on the Nintendo system, but they're actually not authorized by Nintendo. There was a big. There was a. There was a spat going on between Nintendo and Tengen at the time. There was a boo ha going, cat fight between these two companies. So Tengen started making its own games for the Nintendo. Not authorized by Nintendo, but they were selling them for Nintendo games. Tengen eventually lost. Hence why you don't see a lot of the Tengen stuff anymore. But yeah. There's your Tengen. Alright, moving on. We've got uh, uh, the Secret Scroll Flying Dragon. And you got to remember that a lot of these stuff is stuff that I got later on in life and flea markets and whatnot. So, but I did play a, a ton of Nintendo games as a kid. Super Mario Bros. 2. Everybody's got to have a copy of that. And then we got uh, Bases Loaded 2, second season. 1985. And then moving over to this side, we've got... Uh, well, this is owned by somebody named Bandy. Uh, Super Contra. Super C. I always loved the Contra games. And then a game my wife always liked, and I enjoyed this game too. Blades of Steel. With the instruction booklet. Who didn't love Blades of Steel? This was one of the better hockey games. I mean, you know, say what you want, but I loved, I loved playing this game. This was always fun. And then we've got, let me move this over here, got Operation Wolf, Take No Prisoners, from Taito. And then we've got, quite possibly, the hardest fucking game in the history of video games, and a game that pissed me off like no other game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is not my original copy. My original copy... I smashed. I beat this game once, and then I smashed it, because it pissed me off so much. So this is another copy that somebody, in their cruel wisdom, decided to, to buy for me. I don't know where I got this from. I know I wouldn't have bought it on my own. Somebody gave it to me. And my wife, or, or John D., got this for me. I'm not sure. But yeah. Hardest fucking game I've ever played. Only game I've ever smashed. Took this out, smashed it with a hammer when I was done with it. And then, 
the original Metal Gear. With the, I think with the booklet, yeah, with the booklet. Remember Funko Land? I think that was, I think that was owned by GameStop. But yeah, there's your original Metal Gear. Moving down, we've got uh, Ninja Gaiden with the booklet, with the Adventures of Bayou Billy booklet in it. That's funny. Ninja Gaiden right there. And then we've got um, Super Mario Three. Also by somebody named Bandy. Hi, Bandy. I got a lot of your games here. And then uh, we got uh, Anticipation. The family game. Nintendo's first video board game. Okay. We'll go with that. And, of course, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. After they, Before they lost the license to call it Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And they had to replace Mike Tyson with Mr. Dream. Mike Tyson's punch out. And then ice hockey. Your generic hockey game. Followed up with your generic football game. NES play action football. And then the game that started. Here you go. Final Fantasy. This is this is the game that had that you could save on. Remember the ones with the gold, like like Link to the Past, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Link to and Link, like this one, it came in the gold case. Remember with these gold you could save on this cartridge? That was that was the new, ad, 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 that was the advent for cartridge games back then. If it had this gold thing, you could it had internal storage. You could save your game on it. Just like this one. Link, Zelda 2. Uh, Kevin Wright. I don't know who you are. I love people used to write their names on this stuff. Kevin Wright, wherever you are, thank you for letting me own your copy of Zelda 2. I thank you for being dumb enough to sell it and for me to buy it. All right. And then we've got... I probably, I probably ought to thank Bandy, too, huh? Metroid. Do -do -do, it's a Metroid. That's awesome. And then we've got WCW World Championship Wrestling with the Road Warriors. The Legion of Doom on the cover. What a rush. There you go there. And then we've got uh, Days of Thunder. Let's start checking on the back to see whose game I own. And then we've got Casino Kid. Anybody right in the back of this? Nope. Casino Kid. And then we have uh, Strider. I loved this game. Strider. Beat the heck out of that one. And then we've got uh, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. And then we've got a game that I do know where this came from. And this is an original game. Goonies 2. I'm going to flip it over and people watching, you're going to know who I got this from. From John to my best friend Adam. I told you, John, I kept it. I'm always going to keep this game. I carry this around. John gave this to me the day I left Rhode Island. This was kind of like my, my going away present. He gave this to me before I left. Never got rid of it. Never will either. Well, there you are. Still have it. Still safe in my case. And then... And that just goes to show you how far back John and I go. And then for the rest of them, are over here. Oh, my behind sitting on the floor. We got uh, Gauntlet 2. Gauntlet 2. And then, of course, the game that came with the actual system. Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers. Bandy, there you are again. This is Bandy's. Thank you, Bandy. Wherever you are, thank you, Bandy. The game that came with the system. And you've got uh, golf, Jack Nicholas golf. I uh, got track and field right there. Got the original Castlevania, first, first Castlevania ever, right there. 
Then you got Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. That was a fun game. Hard, though. Uh, Blaster Master. Right here. I love this game. Played a lot of that as a kid. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. People people pooed, pooed on this one, but I didn't mind it. It was different. It was different than the rest of them. And then we got uh, Faxanadu. I haven't played that. Bandy, you're here you are again. Hello, Bandy. Then a game John and I used to play the heck out of. Double Dragon. We'd play this in the arcade. Ask John about the time he had to go get... Had to go get his mother a iced coffee from McDonald's and we wound up blowing all the money on Double Dragon at Pizza Man. Good times. That was actually some fun times. Hi, Bandy. Who is you? Who are you, Bandy? I have all your stuff. Ventures of Bayou Billy. Is this a... Oh, yeah. And then I got uh, Mylan's Secret Castle. Then we got uh, Star Trek. The Next Generation. Oh, no, this is not. This is the original. 25th anniversary of Star Trek. Then I got a second copy of Athena. So I actually own two copies of Athena. Wizards and Warriors, right here. You know, if anybody knows who Bandy is, I got all their games, so shout out to Bandy. Thank you for selling your NES collection so I could buy it. And then finally, <laughs> finally and fittingly, also by ba from Bandy, Low G-Man. So thank you, Bandy, for selling all your stuff and putting your name on it so I know how to give credit to for the vast collection of Nintendo games that I have. And that's everything. It's everything, guys. And so the next stuff that I will have to dig out will be um, some of the Atari stuff, some of the old, old stuff. But there are my Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Bandy, if you're watching, thank you for, for selling your games. I'm enjoying them immensely. All right, Frosty Knives, out.